Now, a hydrate is a compound made up of a molecule bound to water. In the molecular formula for hydrates, this composition is represented by that dot you see. It just means that for every molecule of CuSO4 copper sulfate, there is a certain number of water molecules bound to it. Our job in this lab is to figure out what that ratio is, or in other words, what is the value of X. To do this, we're going to figure out what percent of the hydrate is water. After measuring the initial mass, we're going to heat up the hydrate so that all the water evaporates, leaving us with the final mass that is just the copper sulfate. We can then use the final and initial masses to find the percent water by mass of the hydrate. And ultimately, we can use moles to figure out what X is. So let's get started. Okay, so the materials that you're going to need for this experiment is first, tripod stand. Okay, so this is tripod stand. And then we're going to need clay triangle or you can use wire box. Okay, so I did clay, tri clay triangle or wire gauze and then we have crucible together with the lid. This is crucible tongue, lighter, spatula, bunsen burner and also the materials that we're going to use is hydrated salt. Okay, so we have two hydrated salt here. The first one is copper sulfate and the second one is barium chloride. Okay, so the first step is you have to wash the crucible. And then hand dry it with paper towel. After that, we are going to heat this crucible and lid uh, with Bunsen burner, okay, to remove any excess moisture from the crucible. Make sure you position the lid slightly tip, okay, leaving only a small opening for gases to escape. Okay, allow this crucible to cool at room temperature before we wet the mess. Okay, so record the mess of empty crucible with lid. Next, we're going to add around uh, 2 to 3 gram of hydrated salt inside this crucible. Cut the final mass, okay, of hydrated salt, crucible, and lid. So next, we're going to place the crucible, okay, with the hydrated salt uh, on this wire gauze, okay, and we're going to position the lid uh, so that there's a small opening, okay. Make sure it is small, okay. Too large opening uh, will allow the hydrate to spatter out of the crucible, okay. So now we're going to heat uh, the crucible. Very gently, 
uh, for one minute and then we're going to continue to heat with a moderate flame between two to three minutes and then we're going to increase the heat to high uh, and heat for additional five minutes so you have to make sure okay uh, the crucible do not become red hot okay so you always have to observe the crucible okay make sure it do not become uh, red hot because we do not want the sample to decompose after the crucible um, have uh, cooled to room temperature okay we're going to wait uh, the crucible and the anhydrous salt okay so record the mass of the crucible and the anhydrous salt. So next, in order to make sure that all the water had been removed, okay, so we are going to uh, return the crucible, okay, on the triangle rods and we are going to reheat again uh, for another 5 minutes. Okay, so since uh, the mass difference is not more than 0 0.01 gram, okay, so we can take this as our final uh, mass for anhydrous salt and crucible with the lid. Okay, so we can see the difference in color, okay, before and after for copper sulfate. Okay, before it is uh, in blue color and uh, after heating it become white in color